Hey Faltarians and welcome back to our summoner journey. So we've got our morning star and legendary now and back to the dungeon we go. And this time slightly more time needed to farm some ingredients looking for ectoplasm and look at this paladin. 15k life going down easy. Okay so this should already tell you how, how powerful the class is as is right so Balanced or not, but this is the case. We, we are definitely destroying the boss Plantera dungeon, including Paladins, head-on, pretty much, face-to-face. -face. I mean, obviously, he cannot do much. He's very slow and he cannot attack, right? So the hammer, he can throw it even. And even those mages, they don't have time to attack, right? So for the most part, you're gonna be very safe using this approach. Okay, as long as we don't get cornered like this and continue to corner ourselves but I'm hopeful I'm actually thinking it's not not a big deal here he will die yeah okay so um, okay guys so we've collected pretty much everything we needed from this dungeon and we need a lot of uh, ectoplasm because we're gonna be crafting pumpkin medallions and pumpkin medallions for those of you who are unaware I needed to summon the pumpkin moon event and this is massive for for the summoner class not just summoners but think about about this if you are to you're planning to create to craft your zenith for example the top sword in this game so you will need to complete this event at least once you need to kill a lot of those pumpkins and and hope for the horseman blade to drop right so you'll definitely need that but let's see what we got okay so we got pretty much everything we needed we got lots of Lots of ectoplasm and even a bone feather. Feather. So now we have bone wings, guys. So bone wings actually are much better now for, for mobility. So they will last us a little bit. I don't know how long because now upgrades come pretty fast. Yeah, this is very good. This is a pretty good height. So we roll, roll it with menacing. Obviously, everything is rolled with menacing right now because we're buffing not only our whip but we're also buffing the minions, right? So the summons. Uh, and that's that's the reason otherwise I would go probably with violent anyway all right guys time to summon the pumpkin moon okay so this event is pretty much in game I mean you need end game gear in most cases I mean of course it's possible to farm it right after plantera like we are trying to do now but it, it is insanely difficult uh, especially in master mode there are mini bosses and a lot of mobs deal a lot of damage and some of them hit so hard you pretty much get two shot, one shot. Okay, so it is going to be challenging and no doubt here we are going to reap. I'm pretty sure about that. But let's see, I want to try, I want to see how, how we manage, oh yeah. As long as we don't do silly mistakes like that, it, it should last, we should be, no, this is a good damage for sure. I mean, but these are trash mobs, right? So we're looking for first bosses, mini bosses, right? So we're looking for morning wood, we're looking for pumpkins, and yeah, hopefully we can kill a few before we get destroyed. <laughs> because it is going to be difficult. No, no uh, uh, illusions here, guys. This is this is a massive challenge for for the class for summoner. Right, and not just for summoner, you need to pretty much, yeah, look at those projectiles, each probably hitting for 200 plus, but we got one down safely, this is another one, by the way, we need this in numbers, because we're hoping to get some loot that is, they, they can drop, and some of it is massive for us, a big upgrade, okay guys, keep, keep rolling, keep going, so this is not easy. But it, it feels, you know what, in terms of damage in the DPS department, this is amazing. Are you, are you seeing this? We're actually, we're destroying, these bosses have 20,000 life in some defense, right? So, and we're taking them down easy. Wow. I'm actually surprised because I usually don't farm this event in the open. I create... Uh, the complex arenas and farms and I put lava and I put traps and I use invincibility uh, we're using uh, slime statues of course that helps a lot so first pumpkin guys 
Let's see if we get anything. Let's see if we kill it. I mean, this is... I'm too hopeful. I'm too optimistic at the moment because this is a tough boss to, uh, to handle. Like, oh, come on. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Because if you hit, you get hit like this. Yeah, it's it basically it can two shot you. Can it? Well, see, we managed to kill one. This is good. You know, even after its death, those projectiles can actually one shot you. Okay, so we got some drops there and another pumpkin, guys. So I don't know. Even if we kill just a couple of each of each uh, boss, um, it's going to be good. Because all we need at this point is a couple of lucky drops, right? So we're hoping to see the raven stuff. We're hoping to see the uh, uh, some of the crafting ingredients. Oh, that's painful. And we're hoping to see potentially a mount. Alright guys, so yeah, it was painful. We actually died in the process, but unfortunately, unfortunately we couldn't kill too many of these, only killed a few, but this was a good first try, I say, because the damage is there, we're dealing a lot of damage, just need to learn to avoid getting hit and play more carefully. So what did we get? So among other things, we got some spooky wood and we got dark harvest. Guys, this could be an upgrade. I'm not too sure if it's, maybe it's too fast for its own good, maybe we won't be able to use it efficiently due to its own high speed because this is a high, high attack speed build and unfortunately we may be breaking too far into the realm of unsupported uh, frames, right? So if that happens, then obviously we won't be landing as many hits as we produce, right? So that is the concern I have here. But we have spooky twig and that means, and also, yeah, we have spooky uh, wood and we can craft spooky helmets. So obviously we cannot make the entire set here and I'm not even sure we're gonna use the full set. This depends, we will, we will test it, but we're on the right track guys. So, I mean, obviously I'm encouraged to, uh, I feel really excited to try, to try and, and complete this event. And, and do it again and again until we get a few drops that we need. We actually need um, quite quite a few things from, from this. We, we need the Raven stuff, we need maybe a mount or two, because the event can drop two uh, different mounts, right? So we can also get, uh, obviously we get more wood to craft this spooky uh, armor set, right? So, but now we can craft spooky wings, right? So this is an <laughs> immediate upgrade over our bone bone wings. Unfortunately, yeah, we wasted all that re-rolling money and now five minutes later, it's it's over, right? So menacing. We need menacing spooky wings, wings and also we need legendary dark harvest and we got it. So that is a lot of, a lot of coin guys and again some of you have asked previously like why do you need so much platinum yes well this this is why even with the greedy ring and with a perfectly happy um, very happy tinker some rerolls will be f you know 50 gold and above at late game for sure so per hit right per, per roll per try so I just spent maybe three platinum right Okay, so this is Dark Harvest, guys. Insane. Insane speed. And this is before it gets buff. Uh, a buff, right? So it gets a temporary buff. Whenever you hit a uh, first enemy, you're gonna get a few seconds. I think it's three seconds of plus 50% attack speed. I don't know. We're probably gonna break into the unknown with this. With this. Yeah. I mean, at default speed, I think the Morning Star is stronger. Yeah, you see, I mean, it's breaking 1,000 and even 1,000 and then 1,100, yeah. So, I mean, we're definitely, 
as it is, basic base damage uh, of the Morningstar is higher, but the Dark Harvest may be beneficial once it gets triggered, right? So, yeah, okay, so, guys, I think it's time to do some testing, and I'm very excited, excited about that. Okay, so, so let's do a quick quick run again see see what happens so i think we've got we've got plenty of firepower and this time maybe it's gonna get better i am not too hopeful though okay in terms of damage look at this <laughs> okay i can tell you already we're not landing all the hits yeah we're missing a lot of them due to invincibility frames okay so either we need to uh, I don't know. Dropping the gloves in favor of something else, but then the overall damage is going down, and so you're gonna be probably below. So yeah, I mean, you can see, right? So we're, the attack speed is is too fast, <laughs> too high, guys. <laughs> okay, so this weapon is too too fast for its own good, definitely. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, we're not killing it as fast as I hoped. Uh, it's almost as... Yeah, you know what? It's close. It's very close to... With all the buffs that you're getting, it's close somewhat to... to... Uh, Morningstar. Yes, it is close, but not, not quite. So, yeah. I don't know guys, uh, I think I have mixed feelings about this this weapon. Okay, some pumpkins, come on. And yeah, okay, so this event, oh yeah, right. Almost dead with the uh, on the arrival. Okay, so this time, we only, we be, again, we're only able to kill a few, two of which actually, but we were lucky guys. We were m massively lucky this time because we've got the brooms. Uh, mount right so and I am surprised at the mobility of this mount I think it's it's better than the UFO and it's obviously now better than the black spot and it frees up a lot of accessories potentially what we could do we could drop the wings if we could use this for for the event we could drop the wings guys we could drop the boots because you're actually faster on this and we got the uh, the raven stuff by the way guys raven stuff got buffed again this is another ma massive major buff for summoners in 1.4.1 so the buff comes in the form of almost 50 percent extra damage added to as a base damage as you can see mythical is with all our buffs is sitting at 124 summon damage that's a lot for a set that doesn't do a lot of uh, doesn't add a lot massive so I mean it's 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 not as good as spooky for example right so uh, in terms of total minion damage and still we're at a massive 124 per raven per hit right so so this is good plus the ravens are now faster that's another massive advantage they are tra they travel I think 50% faster now okay guys so we got the, the uh, scroll an upgraded one actually we need another one and it's gonna be massively awesome so at this point I think uh, the power is on our side guys we're I don't know if we can replace our Tempest stuff with Raven stuff at this point I don't know let's test this is one thing I would like to see because definitely there is uh, there is some some pros and cons of each weapon right so and it needs to be tested so far we've seen we've seen tempest stuff in action and we've seen all the advantages and disadvantages but let's see what ravens can do right so let's find some mobs and really quickly test i mean i think maybe i'm i'm, I'm th thinking to rerun the old ones army event that could show the real potential here both of the whips and okay so look at this not not too bad so they're dealing some massive damage obviously um and fast they travel fast they do not however target mobs that are too far away so they kind of stick closer to you so they're and they do not go through blocks obviously they won't okay so that's that's another thing so situational i would say situational so maybe in the open doing dealing with those mini bosses maybe we should re re retry yeah look at this so 
7th wave tier 2 old one army okay so ogre number 3 they go down fast guys those 12,000 uh, hit points 4 or 5 seconds maybe 6 seconds yeah something like that so we're dealing a lot of damage here so guys 5 ogres we can summon with this damage in this wave okay good good indication so you know what guys let's go back let's go back to this pumpkin moon event and let's try I've never ever in in my life in my all my playing terraria I was never able to complete this event without um, without engineering uh, special arenas okay so and look at this so now we're using the morning star and we're using of course we're dealing a lot of damage and we're using the mount so we're using more damage in the uh, you have more, more accessories uh, used for extra damage right so we're using extra gloves and we're using we're dealing a lot of damage guys bottom line let's see let's take a look here what do you say i mean i think it's a bit faster than than the dark harvest right even with that uh, the darkness buff that it gives and the plus 50 percent speed that it gives i think we're we're doing a lot more here right so dark harvest is uh, we're still gonna keep it maybe there is a way to kind of use one and then the other immediately after but it's it's so much micromanagement guys so much anyway we're at wave six all right so while we're trying to survive so you know what this is this is the goal now not only we want to survive we want to complete the entire event how about that without dying guys without even dying once okay so can we do it so we are doing okay so far it's only it's only 10, 9 p.m and we're at wave 8 already and the first pumpkin okay so just be careful keep distance so again look at this this distance this is what makes the obsidian armor set so powerful because this distance allows you to go glass cannon almost safely right so as long as you oh yeah look at this yes that pumpkin was effortless okay so guys while we're grinding let's oh yeah, let's not die first let's not die and then we'll see what happens okay so i was I, i'm getting interrupted here all the time but what i'm trying to say what's next because right now I feel we're in a very good spot to to leap forward to another pre-golem boss a boss that is overpowered it's it's a new boss relatively new and the loot that it drops basically uh, makes ours as a class makes the summoner even more OP okay on, on two accounts okay so I'm obviously talking about the Empress of Light guys and yes usually uh, you won't be able to beat her right after Plantera right so pre golem gear it's very difficult but I say let's do it let's do it guys and how about this I'll bargain here oh my goodness how about I'll I'll make a deal with you guys okay so if I beat this event all 15 waves and survive till morning without dying okay and on top of that I'm even going to kill go back to Duke Fishron and kill him 10 times in a row okay if I succeed then you allow me to engineer my fight with Empress of Light. That means I'm not gonna build any complex, uh, you know, complex setups, right? So I'm going to find an elegant and easy way to beat her stress-free. Okay, the reason I'm saying that is that I, I despise bosses that are, um, that require a repeated pattern of moves uh, of strict moves that uh, you know and, and leave no headroom pretty much no room for for improvising too much right so and and that's why I find this you know this boss very stressful and 
but I still think we can beat her, okay? We can defeat her, and we can defeat her using pre-golem gear as a summoner, okay? Within this run. So how about this? Alright, so we just need to survive all 15 waves here without dying. That's one thing, and then kill Duke Fisheron. Why do I need to kill him again? Why would I, would I even... First of all, I mean, that was a v very easy victory back then, right? So, but we did not get the wings. I am thinking maybe wings would give us a chance, an, an advantage here um, in, in later stages of the game, right? So Fisheron wings are um, one of the best. Okay, so pre-lunar events, obviously. Okay, guys, end of wave 13. We're still alive and we're still kicking. Oh, and we're being kicked too, occasionally. Okay, so this is good. Wave 14. Uh, only two waves, guys. Two waves and we're three minutes, oh, four almost minutes before dawn just need to, to survive and we need to complete the event that means wave 15 and I would say how about at least a thousand points wave 15 can we get it if we can reach there then I would say this event is massively completed properly done okay so all, all of it guys and you, you you can see this and you can use it as a reference because obviously many of you probably gonna be less reckless uh, in your in your playstyle like you won't gonna get hit like this right so for you it may even be more easy to to complete right so but keep in mind that the broomstick is what I'm, I'm, I'm suggesting to use as a mount instead of wings because it gives it's very mobile and gives you quite a bit of flexibility and you can obviously move to more offensive yeah right like that okay so yeah I may have spoken too soon I might actually die here and if I do oh my goodness that was so close <laughs> close to reap okay so it's the end of wave 14 guys and I'm um, uh, maybe my deal is gonna be off uh survive that's that's all i'm thinking now just survive just keep going just you know we still have time we have two and a half minutes we just need to pick up some hearts somewhere oh and another pumpkin yeah perfect timing right so um well truth is we get hit once here and it's done and the the entire challenge is has failed Oh my goodness, and on top of that, you. Okay, so luckily our damage is so OP, so strong, okay, so high. Okay, guys, so we got the hearts, pick it up. All right, so we're back, back in game, and it's wave 15, guys, zero points. So we just need to break, well, let's say, a thousand points. No. Okay, again, one shot, and you're, and you're done, bro. Okay, so... Can we survive? Oh my goodness. I'm tempted to grab those hearts. Very tempting. Come on, can we survive? Okay, I think I think it's almost safe to go there. Just need need full life at this point come on yeah perfect okay guys 800 points are we getting there and we're there okay so now oh oh my goodness so not just one thing left to do 50 seconds of survival no matter how just survive there's like three of them I think yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of firepower coming our way. <laughs> uh, that's messed up. Uh, yeah, let's go back. Go back. Oh, and that's not incorrect. That's an incorrect place. That's not where we're supposed to be. Okay, there. And again, three. Okay, so we still have 20, uh, 10 seconds. Ten seconds, guys. Three, two, one, and complete. 
All right, guys. So, uh, just to summarize, and you see the message: the spirit of Halloween penetrates the air. So, essentially, when you complete 15 waves of uh, the pumpkin moon, you get one day of Halloween, no matter what time of year you actually do it. Okay, guys, we've got a lot of good loot now. Potentially, we got everything that can drop at this point, even the horseman blade, by the way. So, yeah, we've got plenty of spooky wood. We can craft the wood armor, uh, spooky wood armor, um, yeah, look, we got everything, even the bat scepter, and, and lots of, uh, two more scrolls, three more scrolls, actually, okay, so we're fully set, we're fully ready to re-gear, to re-roll, and, and to prepare for the Empress of Light and Duke Fishron, like I said, so the next stage, we will attempt to do 10 kills in a row of Duke Fishron, in hopes to get the Fishron wings, and then, after that, will do Empress of Light guys. Stay tuned, thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next video.